Hi everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, Analytics Advocate and Product Manager for Google Analytics. And today I'm joined by Michael Reed, who is a software engineer on Google Analytics. Michael, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure, Krista. In this quick tip, we're going to walk you through the funnels technique in advanced analysis. Now to level set, funnels are really great for analysis for many different things. So for example, you could analyze a checkout flow in a funnel. So if somebody added a product to your cart, added their shipping and their billing information, and finally submitted that order. That's a great piece of analysis for a funnel. And with funnels and advanced analysis, you can go further than what was available in custom funnels in Google Analytics 360. You can have up to 10 steps for these funnels. You can uh, analyze multiple segments and breakdowns for these funnels. So we're gonna actually dig in and go through a demo to show you how actionable this analysis really can be. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Michael and he's going to give us the demo. All right, so this is what an empty funnel will look like. Uh, for today's funnel, I'm interested in doing some initial analysis on the performance of t-shirts on my clothing website. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm going to add three steps to our funnel. Uh, to add a step, you move your cursor over to this step section of the settings panel and click this little pencil and enter the step builder. Uh, so our first step is going to be where did our users come from? Uh, today I care about looking for users who came to us from a Google search. So I'm going to set my condition to be the source exactly matches Google. Uh, now I need some more steps for my funnel because just this one step is not very interesting. <laughs> to create another step from this builder, uh, we move our cursor to the blue plus button on the bottom right uh, and add our second step. The second step will be t-shirt. So we can see which users went to a, a listing page, or sorry, a product detail page for a t-shirt. And finally, who completed their orders? So we look for users who went to the order completed page. And obviously you can use this builder to add many more steps, but for the simplicity of this demo, we'll just look at these three. Yes. And this is probably not exactly the sort of analysis that you would want to perform in real life, uh, since this doesn't guarantee you that users purchased t-shirts. Sure. Um, but this is just sort of it's a good demo. for demonstration. Great. So uh, one nice feature of this implementation of funnels is that you can zoom in on really small bars. You're likely to get small bars and the last step of a funnel because most users probably don't make it to the last step. Uh, so in order to zoom in on this last step here, I just uh, scroll with my mouse and the bar gets bigger. And I can easily mouse over it and see that there were about 100 users that completed an order. And then if you want to see the big picture again, you can scroll out. Um, so one thing that you might want to do with funnels is see how different populations of users behave on your website. Uh, you can do that using segments. In order to add a segment, I'm going to first import an existing segment from GA by moving over to the variable section and clicking this plus button in the segment section. I'm going to add new users, returning users, and paid traffic. Those are all interesting segments. Uh, so then to add them to the funnel itself, you drag from the segments area to the segment comparisons area. And here you can add up to four segments to compare for your funnel. Yes. So let's go ahead and add a fourth one, mobile traffic. Great, so now what are we looking at here? So now uh, we're looking at four bars per funnel step. Each bar is a different color representing uh, the segment that corresponds to that color. So you'll see the segments color coded in the comparison section, mm -hmm. and then you'll see the same colors on the bars. Uh, and in the table, you can see it broken down by step segment uh, with the different steps labeled in bold. Mm -hmm. I like that when you highlighted over each of the uh, segments in the funnel that it actually showed you the path for that particular segment as well. Cool. So 
One more thing you can do with funnels is you can add breakdowns by things other than segments. Uh, so say I'm interested in knowing how my site does in different browsers. I can take this browser dimension over here and drag it to the breakdown section. And I will see up to, four, up to five different browsers for each uh, step segment combination. Very cool. So Michael, one of the things that we can do in custom funnels is actually create a segment from any of the funnel steps. Can we do that here? Of course, Krista. Uh, so let's go to the last step. Let's zoom in on it so we can actually see the bars. And um, let's say we want to do some further analysis for paid traffic in this funnel, because uh, it seems like maybe we're not getting enough bang for our buck. Um, so you right click, you name it, and you save it as a segment. That's right. Awesome. So I think this is a really great demo to show you just how easy it is to use the new funnels feature in advanced analysis and create a really actionable funnel with segments and breakdowns, all things that we couldn't do before in funnels in Google Analytics. So thank you so much for joining us today and we hope that you give funnels a try.